What is up everybody? It's Daniel here today and we're going to be going over some iOS features that are hidden or not visible in plain sight that I think are pretty neat that you guys should know about. So let's get right into it. The first hidden feature is honestly not that hidden at all, but I've noticed that a lot of people don't know about it. And that is that you can force touch some of the toggles in the control center. You can force touch the music to expand it and control the level of the audio can force touch the brightness toggle and you'll get the night shift toggle which is now missing from the main menu. You can force touch the Wi-Fi and other sort of signal toggles to get more options for personal hotspots and airdrop. You can force touch screen mirroring, the calculator, the flashlight, and a lot of the other icons that you can customize in the control center can also be force touched. It's definitely something worth checking out if you haven't and you use the toggles frequently. I would definitely suggest looking in there and seeing what else you can find. The second hidden feature is now that you can scan QR codes straight from the camera app. This is a very minor thing, but it's pretty nice not having to use Twitter or downloading another third party app to scan QR codes. Now the camera will scan them and show you a Safari link right away up at top linking you to wherever the QR code goes. Third, we have extended screenshot controls. Now, I know this is visible at a first glance, but a lot of people still don't realize that you can annotate screenshots, and not only that, but you can share them without ever having to save them. You can now click done and click delete at the end, which is super handy and, and helps keep my photos folder clear of any unwanted screenshots that I'm only going to use once. The next hidden feature, number four, we have the ability to move multiple items at once while rearranging icons on the home screen. This isn't useful that often, but when you're setting up folders or when you're first setting up your device, this is something that I find can save a lot of time. You have to kind of awkwardly tap the icons as you hold the first one, but then it allows you to move all of them at once and kind of get your work done in a more productive manner. Last but not least, we have the screen recording, which is now natively available in Control Center. You can go into settings, control center, and customize to enable a bunch of other options such as alarm, low power mode, the stopwatch, and one of these options is screen recording. Once you do this, you will be able to record your screen. I'm very glad this is finally supported in iOS. A cool and nifty trick is the fact that you can just click the lock button to stop recording. You don't have to swipe up to the control center and hit record and have to edit that out later, you can just click your lock screen, lock your device, and the recording will automatically stop and save to your photos. That's a pretty nifty trick, and that's about all of them that I have for you guys at this point. I'll be having more content on iOS and obviously Android in the future, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and also subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!